In this video, I will talk about the options available to you as you read ebooks and listen to audiobooks in Libby. Open an ebook you have checked out by tapping on the shelf icon, tapping on Loans, then tapping Open in Libby. Tap on the right side of the screen to turn the page. Tap on the left side of the screen to go back a page. Tap in the upper right corner to add a bookmark to this page. You can have as many bookmarks as you want. To highlight text, press and hold on the first word, then drag with your finger and let up on the last word. Tap the highlight color of your choice. If you wish to add an accompanying note, tap on the highlighted text, then tap in the Make a Note section and type. Tap in the middle of the page to see various reading options. Tap the Appearance icon to change the size of the text, the lighting, and the book design. Take a moment to adjust these settings to your liking for the best reading experience. Swipe down to close the Appearance settings. The Search feature allows you to search within this book. Tap on any search result to jump to that page. The far right icon allows you to access your bookmarks and highlights. If you haven't added any bookmarks or highlights, this section will be empty. The bar at the bottom shows your progress in the book. You can quickly move forwards and backwards in the book by dragging this slider. You can also tap on the chapter to access the table of contents, where you can tap on any chapter to jump to it. Tap on back to exit out of the book and back to your shelf. Note that a Now Reading area now appears at bottom right so that you can quickly return to the book you last had open. This will only appear on larger tablet screens, not smaller phone screens. To listen to an audiobook, tap on Shelf if you're not already there and tap on Loans. Tap on the audiobook cover, then tap on Play. You can go backwards or forwards 15 seconds by using these buttons. You can also skip ahead by swiping from right to left. The indicator will show you how many seconds ahead you're skipping. Keep dragging your finger to the left to increase the amount of seconds, or drag your finger back to the right to reduce the amount of seconds. To skip backwards, do the opposite. Drag from left to right. The bar at the bottom shows your progress in the audiobook. You can quickly move forwards and backwards in the book by dragging the slider. Tap on Chapters to jump to the beginning of a different chapter. Tap the Playback Speed icon to increase the speed of the narration. Tapping the Sleep Timer icon allows you to set a length of time before the audiobook shuts off. Tap the Bookmark icon to add a bookmark to this spot in the audiobook. Please note that when you exit out of a book, or out of Libby, the app will remember where you left off and take you back to that spot. This icon allows you to access your bookmarks. Tap on Back to return to your shelf. In the next video, we will talk about renewals, returns, and more. Happy reading!